What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. I hope you're all excited to see what we've got in this mystery box today. I know there's only a few cars in here by... Ooh, there you go, you got a sneak peek of something very awesome there. Um, only a few cars in the box this week, but I've got a whole pile of cars off to the side here. Uh, some larger scale cars too, so yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy and we'll see what we've got. Alright, let's start with this one. Ah uh, yes, this is the new Matchbox Off-Road Rally Series. And we have the Volkswagen Golf Country, 1990 Volkswagen Golf Country. And some white wheels and the uh, red, brown and uh, uh, red and yellow colour combination. The uh, German flag colours. Very cool. Plastic bull bar on the front and you have the spare wheel in the back. And what's in the back there? Can we see what's in the back? I'll have to uh, keep an eye open for a second one of these to try and find the variation because the uh, the stuff in the back, there's two variations of that, so keep your eyes open for that. All right, let's just put that one up the back there. All right, I've had a, I've had a pretty good couple of weeks uh, finding stuff and uh, these next couple of cars uh, my friend got for me. So a massive shout out to my buddy. Thanks, Jason. Um, yeah, very nice of him to send me these or trade me these I should say. Here we have the Dodge Viper regular treasure hunt and this is for the uh, P case. I don't really know, it doesn't really give us all the information but anyway uh, yeah he got me the short card plus the long card so that is awesome. You can see on the front there there's the Circle Flame logo. Very very nice to have both of those. I'm a big fan of the actual uh, Hot Wheels race team livery. I think they always look very cool in the blue colour. Put that one over there. And then this as well, he found two of these. Can you believe it? So I was lucky enough to be able to uh, trade him some things for this. And this is the 1970 Dodge Charger RT ID car. Beautiful, beautiful translucent blue on that. Such a nice blue. And these gold wheels look very cool. I wish I had the uh, the regular version next to me so I could uh, do a comparison. There we go. There's the ID chip. And there's the back. Very cool. So thanks again for that, mate. That is just a very, very cool, very, very cool thing to happen. All right. Got a couple of cars here. All right, let's grab this one out first. This is the Mattel Dreamobile. It was first, first released in red. Now in this beautiful sky blue colour. I actually think this colour is nicer. And so I'm going to have to pick up an extra one of these because... Yeah. I think that looks very cool. Tell me what you think. Do you like the uh, the Mattel Dreamobile? I'd love to know what you guys think because for me personally I love the, uh, the science fiction style stuff. And that's very sci-fi looking. Ah uh, yes, there we go. We have the Baja Bone Shaker again. We found a second one, so this time we can... There's the little Circle Flame logo. Let's check this one out. Ooh, knocking everything over. Here we have these Skull Jack-O-Lantern style wheels. They look very cool. They have the Treasure Hunt on the side there. Does that say 1931 or 1031? Ah, 1031, October 31st. And there they are. Nice pinstriping flames. Circle Flame logo. That's a very cool flame paint job, actually. And there's the other side. And has our plastic base metal body. Pretty cool. I will have to say that's pretty cool. What's this one? Ah, yes. This is the 2010 Pro Stock Camaro and the Hot Wheels Race Team livery. The last car for 2020, 250 of 250. Very cool. It's a, uh, it's a different color to the, to the other uh, race team cars from this series as well. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, cool, there you go. Very cool, and this has got the uh, Laughlin racing team. They're the guys that were racing for Gas Monkey Garage, I think, from memory. If I'm wrong, please tell me. All right, that's just, uh, oh, let's just look at this one first. Uh, found the uh, Highway Hauler at Target. 
So these are available Target Australia for ten dollars. Limited run collectible. And you can't really see much in there, but it's got some pretty cool things. As I say, designed in El Segundo on the back there. And there's your statistics. So very cool. Always fun to find these. I don't collect all of them because some of them just not really to my taste. But that one, that one just looks cool. Alright, let's look at this. Yes, we have the uh the Cars Scavenger Hunt. So this is the special metallic edition of the Snot Rod. There you go, really cool charger with that metallic orange paint. Really nice. And yeah, I do quite enjoy these cars. Cars, I think they're quite entertaining. And look at the size of this. This is really cool. Uh, it's kind of what I imagine uh, the cars from Summonats to look like if they were to be cartooned. So, very cool. And what was the last thing? Aha! Yes, we have the new Scooby-Doo from the new Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine from the new uh, Entertainment Series or Replica Entertainment Series. And this one is only different now because it has plastica, plastic looking wheels. And I decided to bring out the last one. And yeah, as you can see, there's a few differences, but the wheels are the biggest difference. These these wheels here are so much nicer, these four spokes. Those ones there just look like plastic, very cheap looking. Uh, you don't have Scooby-Doo on the side bursting out. But yeah, very cool. I might have to find a second one of these to do a comparison. I didn't really want to open it up because I already had this one here. So yeah, very cool. Put that over there. All right, now that that's all out of the way, I've got to show... Well, let's go on to this, actually. Yes, I'm a big fan of Scooby-Doo. This is the Jada Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine with Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. These are available from Kmart Australia for... Uh, was it $29 or 39 I think it was $39. can't recall. It was either $29 or $39. But it's very heavy. You can see Shaggy and Scooby there, and the very cool mystery machine. So we might actually have to uh, crack this one open to see, have a nice close-up look. Very cool. Uh, where can we put this one? It's kind of taking up a lot of room. I'll put this one over to the side. Move that over there. And we'll do that. All right. Okay. <laughs> Now we can move on to some Majorette cars. We'll start with these ones first. We're going to start ending up with a big pile. Found these street cars from TK Maxx for only $4. So I thought that was a very good deal. And we've got a, a cactus, I think. Just keep moving along as fast as I can. Toyota High Ace in a champagne kind of colour. Oh, and that's right, we have a Toyota High Ace from a Toyota High Ace series, the Majorette one, and a metallic white, very cool. These ones I found at a different store, these ones here were $6. The short card, uh, the ones with the stickers were all from the same store, obviously. And we have a Premium Cactus, very cool. Some more street cars, a Lamborghini. Very nice. A Ford GT in purple. Very cool. And I'm not going to open any of these because I'm going to be sending some of these overseas to some friends. Uh, here we have the Lamborghini Urus in nice yellow colour. Very, very cool. And let's move along to the next lot. Here we have the Mercedes Maybach. Uh, Maybach Sump G650 Land Landolet. I don't know, but the colour on this is awesome. Really nice metallic pearl cyan colour. Really, really cool. So that was a very nice find. Let's throw that one up there. And then we have this car, a Dacia a Duster. I think it's a Duster. It's got the sticker in the way. 
That's straight up there. We're going to have to move this out of the way. We're going to have to move that. We'll sit that back out of the way. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We have a Porsche Boxster uh, with a convertible roof. And we have an Explorer uh, Volkswagen. Very cool with the surfboard on the roof. And then we've also got the, uh, the Citroen C4 Cactus with the opening part on the top there. This, this uh, little box on the top opens, so that's very cool. I might just move this one out of the way over there so we can uh, get some more cars on display. And now we have the Hummermobile Lexus. My goodness. Okay, um, my friend uh, Chasing Diecast Cars sent me one of these and I customized it with a whole bunch of uh, uh, stickers and stuff on it. So it's very nice to have a second one just as a clean example. Because the customized one looks very cool. Next we have the Explorer uh, Jeep Rubicon. I'm not too sure. Uh, Jeep Wrangler. Very cool. What's that on the front there? It's like a safari park or something. It's got like an elephant and maybe it's a South African theme. Not too sure. And then we have the Mercedes-Benz Zetros in the Explorer camper van kind of thing. That's very cool. You can live out of that. So very nice to add all of these to my collection for such a cheap, cheap price. And then I also found a couple of the limited edition uh, Zamac colors, the raw colors. And no, that's not a green light green machine. That is just a Camaro. Very nice. Very cool raw design. Green wheels with the opening doors and everything like that. That's awesome. And then we found this one here. And what was this one? What is that? Volkswagen Golf GTI in uh, the raw with the white wheels opening boot. Very cool. But that's not all. That's not all. We keep moving on. We found some more of these Majorette color changers. So that's very nice. Now I have all five. Oh no, there's six. Okay, maybe... Wait a second. No, no, that's right. Uh, we bought the Lamborghini and the Porsche and the Viper last time. So here we have the Audi S5, Subaru WRX STI, and the Ford Mustang GT. Very cool. You can see on the top there, that's the colors that they will change to, or close to those colors. So very cool to get those. Hey, don't worry, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We are not done yet. We also have some deluxe cars. Yes, this is quite a major rat party tonight, isn't it? Land Rover Defender in this kind of oh, foliage green, like a forest green kind of colour. Uh, blinged out engine, blinged out wheels, chromed all out, and uh, a brown interior. Very cool. So these ones here come with the rubber tyres, so that's very cool. There we go. Suspension, opening parts, licensed vehicle, and all of that. Very cool. And then we have the orange version. Which is really cool also. This is kind of like your, I don't know, your Coast Guard style thing or something maybe. Very cool. I do like that. It's got the uh, spare wheel on the front of that one. As this one does not. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Very cool, very cool. Maybe we'll open up those next week. But... The one that I was really the most happy about was, well, both of the last cars are, but this one here is mainly the one I was very much happiest to find. This is the Ford Mustang Fastback 1967. And this, uh, well, the thing is, this is normally a darker, darker red paint. This version here is actually more of an orange, orange version. So... I don't know if that's a rare variation or not, because I've seen a dark red colour. And this is a more of a burnt orange colour. So very, very nice to find. 
Very cool. Um, yeah, you'll have to let me know. Uh, what's the colour supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a darker red? Or is it supposed to be like an orangey red? I'm sure somebody out there will be able to help me. We'll put that there. And the last, well, it is kind of the last single car for the Majorettes. I also found a Majorette Toy Fair model. So this is the Volkswagen Beetle Surfing. Nice red with the chrome wheels with a 19 on the side uh, for 2019. Cool surfboard, opening frunk. And here, Hong Kong Toy Fair, London Toy Fair, and Nuremberg, Nuremberg Toy Fair. Um, yeah, not too sure uh, if this is for, oh, uh, it's T.O., that's Toy Fair edition. Maybe this is only supposed to have been put out at a Toy Fair, which never happened due to COVID. Don't know. Um, yeah, if anybody has any information on this, please let me know about that too. Um, but we're almost done. We're almost done. Don't worry. <coughs> uh, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm getting so excited. I'm having trouble breathing. Uh, here we have the Majorette Mercedes AMG G63 Color Edition. Found this at Toy World for $29.99. And here we have some beautiful colors. Look at that lovely bright yellow. And fluorescent fluorescent green and a nice bright orange kind of actually a, uh, a metallic orange actually they're all metallic colors what am I oh wait a second no no uh, flat paint flat paint metallic and flat candy paint and metallic that's really nice so yeah we have a nice candy apple red color and this metallic uh, purpley kind of colour. Cool! So very happy to find this. Uh, it's a little bit uh, open there, so we are definitely going to open this one up and check it out. So stay tuned over the next few days. I'm going to get this out. Maybe Friday. Alright, how about that? Come back Friday and you will have yourself a Majorette close-up review of all of the exact same car. Plus I might grab out another variation that I can find. Maybe I've got two variations that I can show. So yeah, come back on Friday and we'll check that out. Uh, there's not much room left. Everything's kind of taken up room. Push that up. Okay, the last, last, last thing that I'm going to show is the John Wick Greenlight Hollywood Ride Green Machine. Um, I'm not the biggest uh, large-scale collector like I, I know that I just showed the Scooby-Doo car and that's a large scale but I'm very picky when it comes to the actual large-scale cars that I choose so um, I'm going to be trading off this trading this over to my buddy Jason and that is now the second um, green machine that I found for him in the last couple of weeks so that's very cool I found the uh, was it the rookie TV show I found the police car there was also a green wheel green machine and now this one. So how funny is that? So there you go, Jason. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit crinkled there, but I'm sure that you're not going to care too much about that because it's just, it's a green machine. It's just awesome. So put that out of the way there. And that's it, guys. That is it. I do have a couple of things that I'm going to save for next week because there's no way I'm going to get through what's left sitting next to me it's, it'll be, we'll be sitting here for the next two hours if we try to get through everything that was sitting beside me for the show. So, come back Friday and I'll do a review on the uh, Series AMG G63 Color Edition. Wow, very nice. So, yes, I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time. Bye.